Profile controls coplanarity. If I look at this flatness callout and it says it's on two surfaces, that means this surface has to be flat and that one has to be flat. But it does not control these two features relative to one another. So I could have a part that looks like this where both surfaces are very flat. If I want these two surfaces to act like one, you know, be located within a pattern of two, then I'd have to use profile of a surface. So here I'm saying there's two surfaces or two x, profile point one, and now these both must meet their tolerances simultaneously. Really nothing new because this is kind of like the Fritz, the feature relating tolerance zone framework we looked at earlier. A former practice required that we say two surfaces and people said well can't we just say 2x and not have to write out the word surface and, and the committee agreed in the 2009 revisions. So now we can just say 2x here. Now what if I offset those surfaces? Here I have a, a basic 15 offsetting them. Well it's still the same idea. I want them to be held in location to one another so I'm saying there's two of them and I want their profile within 0.6. It doesn't matter that they're offset. The basic dimension on the last example was zero, zero basic. So to check this, I might use a surface plate and stack some gauge blocks up at that 15 basic. And since the tolerance was 0.6, I might just make sure I can't slip a shim that's 0.6 thick under either one of these. Now there's more sophisticated ways to do it, but that would usually do the job. Oh, what's this guy going to do? Hang on. <laughs> okay. Well, why don't you jump into these next exercises?